Mano no tzó de quimbra do chão Vem só ir Terrina De fim de talá Shalom, I am Rabbi Saul Praver. You're watching Rabbi Rock. Probably the best program out there, certainly one of the best programs out there for Jewish youth is Birthright Israel. Every Jewish child, every Jewish young person has a free trip to Israel. And we're here today with Matthew Parkhurst, who just came back from Israel on the Birthright Israel trip. And uh, we welcome here Matthew. Good afternoon. Good to have you here. You look all uh, lit up and, and happy about your, your trip in Israel, and, and uh, you could start anywhere just telling us about it. It was an amazing trip. Um, I got to the airport, Newark International. We flew 10 hours, the longest flight of my life. <laughs> um, but then we landed, and we saw the landscape of Israel. It's a beautiful country. Um, it's just you think it's desert they've definitely planted a lot of trees and turned it into a amazing country that thursday night our first night there we looked at this overlook overlooking at the western wall and that i've seen some good sights in my life but that was unbelievable now you that, must have seen some pictures of that right yes now but the reality of being there the is reality a little different, of being right? there was so different um, I've, I've been to synagogue before, and yeah, you pray to God, you do the, all that, you go through the motions, but actually being there and seeing the most holy site in the Jewish religion, it brought my spiritual, spirituality to a whole other level. I felt like I was, this was me and this was God. Wow. Like, so this really moved you. It really. How many kids were on your, your group there? There were 37 of us, uh, about a third from Delaware, a third from Syracuse, and a third from Texas. For five days, we also had eight Israeli soldiers, just like us, our age, mm -hmm. just in the Army. Did you feel safe? I felt extremely safe. I feel more in harm's way in downtown Bridgeport than I did <laughs> in Israel. Wow. Um, people, every like 10 people in that country carry M1s, so you feel safe. <laughs> um, to get into a mall, you had, I had, you basically had to do a strip down, so they have secure, they have top notch security wherever you go. Um, I mean, a strip down, I mean, come on. <laughs> they just gotta, you know, make sure that- You take your belt off. Really, the whole, take wow. the whole, the whole nine they're, yards. They're really yeah. gonna make sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, because they've had problems there with bombs and stuff. And so. I'm talking about bombs, what you see in the media, it's just a small part of the it's life. The overall. Of the life. Mm -hmm. It goes on like we go on in America. Mm -hmm. It's totally 100% safe. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go and the only thing that's holding you back is what you see on TV. Turn the TV off. Turn the TV off and go. <laughs> yes. Good, fabulous. Now you started your trip in uh, Jerusalem on in Thursday. Jerusalem. And you stayed there that night. Did you stay for the Shabbat? We stayed there until about five nights until like Tuesday afternoon, Monday night. Tuesday okay. Afternoon. What What did you do on the Shabbat? Because uh, where did you go? did they take you to the synagogue or, or something? Well, on Shabbat it was basically a day of rest. Nothing. The country uh, shuts down on Shabbat. You could literally lie down in the middle of the road and you wouldn't get run over by cars. <laughs> it literally shuts down. Nothing's open. It's a day to be with your family, to, to play sports, to go mm -hmm. go to the theater. Um, but as far as the trip 
um, goes, what was that like? No activities um, scheduled, no formal no activities. I, no formal activities. So um, if you wanted to go to the synagogue, services, you could go. We you didn't have to go to the services if you didn't want to. Right. Friday night, we had to go to the services, and they were pretty well done. They were done by the people that ran the birth rate program. Was that done by the Western Wall? The that hotel. The Friday night was in the hotel room. Oh, okay. In the hotel. Um, Saturday morning was at the hotel. Okay. And, and you all walked down, the, down yeah. there. That and must have been great. An hour and a half walk to the hotel from our hotel, but it was it was nice to see what uh, Israel was like on the Sabbath. And How the weather was good. When the you weather went. was beautiful. It was about eighty-five degrees every day, no humidity. Cool. It was unbelievable. At one point, you wound up in a Bedouin tent. Yes. Um, after we went to Jerusalem, we went to um, we went down to the south to. Uh, have Bedouin hospitality, and we stayed. We had we rode on camels, which was wow. unbelievable. And then we had the Bedouin feast, which was my best meal there after the shawarma. Because it was um, like all that roasted meat on the uh, open roasted pit. meat, rice, uh, your hummus, Cous everything, couscous, couscous, couscous yes. yes. And then we stayed overnight in the Bedouin tent. Uh, we didn't sleep much, but we had a good time in the tent. Why, why didn't you, uh, too much um, giggling and chatting? Yes, and, and yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, then you eventually found your way down to the Dead Sea. Uh, that that um, Tuesday night we stayed in the Bedouin tent. Wednesday morning we woke up at four in the morning to go see the, to go climb Mount Masada. And after not really sleeping. After not really sleeping, climbed Mount Masada and saw all the ruins up there to see the sunrise and that was a spectacular view. Um, and then that afternoon we went over the Dead Sea mm -hmm. and we floated in it. You can't swim, you can't sink, you float. You <laughs> could try to sink, you'll fail. <laughs> so, It's one of the most concentrated places of uh, mineral places yeah, on the Yeah, they said 33% salt. Hmm. So, it's fabulous. It stings, it tastes like salt. Now you probably made a lot of new friends. A lot of new friends. I met this one girl from Stony Brook. Wow. Um, and there were people from India, Argentina, France, Brazil, really? all over the world. Wherever a Jew lives, they they come to Birthright Israel. There were some Indian Jews? Really? Yep. Wow. From Bombay. So. Wow. And um, so you keep up with these these friends? Like you have their email addresses? Yes. Uh, I mean, you guys are like, you know, um, continuing with the, the friendship that you yes, started? Yes, actually, a bunch of us from Delaware um, are going to a Syracuse football game. Fabulous. To visit all our Syracuse friends. So that'll be nice. And Before you went, you had a certain expectation of what Israel would be like. And I think you were saying you were expecting it to be a little more of a European experience, but then you found it a lot more Middle Eastern. Um, it, was, it was a Israel's at the, um, what's the word I'm looking for, the 